Hello traders, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a fantastic week and I hope you've been having a great week of trading. I know I certainly have and I know that the crew have been absolutely smashing it this week. These are the kind of conditions that we really thrive on and I just want to go over this um, in today's video. Okay, so if you're one of those traders that has been a little bit panicked this week, maybe been taking more losses than you normally would, uh, unsure of where price is going to be going, you keep finding yourself chasing price, wondering whether price is going to come down and take these lows, you're worrying about, oh no, are we going to go lower? Or you're worried about, oh, should I be buying this dip because then I may miss an opportunity if we're just going to go bullish again? Stop thinking like that, okay? Watch this video very closely because what we're going to go over today is just how you can trade what is in front of you um, without having to think about what might be coming within the next few days and weeks, etc. Just trade what the chart is telling you now and you can make far more money than you could lose on one of these big moves down that we did see last week. Okay, so this is what we've been doing within the crew community this week and we're going to go over basically the story of that within this video. So um, if you like that, please do like uh, this video. Please do subscribe if you hadn't seen the channel before. And of course, please do go and check out our website if you would like to know anything more about the kind of <clears throat> everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Okay. Oh, and also, of course, a little uh, Twitter um, shout out just to start this. So Taurus Crypto on Twitter here as well. Okay, so let's get into this. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off here with our Discord. And here is a post that I had um, just posted up to the crew on that Monday evening, um, basically the first day of the week that we were trading after the big move down. Okay, and at this point, we've already taken a few trades during the day, but I just wanted to update everyone. Okay, so the crew, when there is volatility, there is opportunity. I know the past few days have been rough for a lot of you, but we need to remember that all we should care about as traders is where price is now and where it will go next. It's all about percentages trade what the chart tells you. After a volatile move, you almost always get a reliable range and that is what we have today. Four bread and butter trades that are very simple, remove the emotion and you can profit massively in these wide ranges. Okay, so the first one of these, long the swing failure pattern of the weekend range. Updated that within the crew earlier on today. You short the daily open. You then long the golden pocket. Okay, so once again, shorting the daily open, long the daily, long the golden pocket. Um, and then taking profit on the next golden pocket, potential short, although I prefer to hold my long now as the weekend highs look like they can get taken. The emotion of a bull market can cloud our judgment. We now have an opportunity to make money without any bias. We knew volatility was coming and that it would provide both danger and opportunity depending on what side you were on. These current conditions are what I thrive on as a trader and what I try to explain on a daily basis, even when we are take, talking about more long-term ideas. Let's get back to the basics this week and crush it, okay? And here's just the chart of all the trades we had taken that day. One, two, three, four, all profitable trades. And it continued like that throughout the week okay so we have taken many trades this week and i can honestly tell you every single one of them we've won every single trade has been a winning trade that we've taken this week and um that's far more like i said that you could possibly lose from having one move down like we did see last week also a quick shout out to luxury he was uh mentioning this tezos setup which we all know what's happened with tezos recently going on a, a really nice run so uh, well done to luxury for for calling that one out as well so Let's just go back to the chart here. And this is exactly what we were looking at, okay? You have your weekend range. Okay, your weekend range here defined by very clear lows, the initial bounce that you have from these lows and our very clear highs. Three highs, two lows, clear range. Very good data to trade. We then go into Monday. Okay, so here is Monday's trading session. What we had, our first trade, swing failure pattern of the lows. Okay, now obviously if I zoom in a bit on this, you'll see it a lot more clearly, but we'll just whiz through these on this video, otherwise I'll be here all day. Um, so you have the swing failure pattern of the lows, that's the first trade that we were taking, um, updated again of course within the community that this trade was one that we were taking. Straight into what was at the time your daily open and your weekly open, okay, it's a Monday. And what the reason for this, to take a short here, the thinking of that was like, okay, we know we're in a downtrend, the lows are going to get taken okay you can see high low lower high next level 
is here. Okay, <laughs> you, you just know that. Um, and that, that is the level that you're looking for. Now, the reason that we would then take a short at this point <clears throat> is that we know the weekend is starting in the downtrend. We know that there is bigger support below us rather than just this swing failure button. So you immediately come up into here very, very quickly, um, much quicker than I actually expected, but gave us an opportunity to take a short. And then what happens? You come into the major level that you were really talking about. And forget this stuff, okay? This is very illiquid. It's different on every single exchange. So pulling fibs from a wick like that, almost impossible. So where is your clearly defined low? It is here. Where is your clearly defined high? It is here. Where is your golden pocket? What is the best Fibonacci level in the world? Your golden pocket works so often. And funnily enough, came right in a region where we have, we already know that there's big interest in this area, okay? We know that this was holding a support before it quickly flipped down and turned into support once again. So we know that's a good level. Taking along there straight away back into a take profit and then finally what does price do what was previously resistance flipped into support 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 briefly goes below tests this golden pocket region flips it into your resistance into your support and then off we go we take out the weekend range highs and we don't look back and that's very important okay you flip it and you don't look back okay obviously after a couple of days, you can look back, but that's the important thing. You don't want to immediately go back and test these levels. So that's Monday. Then we go into Tuesday. So Tuesday, much more of a flat day. Okay, Monday gave a lot of opportunities some really big volatile moves that you would expect after putting in a range like this. And then you calm out, calm down, you chill out on Tuesday. But again, good trades that could be taken. So... What we're looking at here is, so I can just pull up on, uh, let's just put it up on Twitter, okay? And we were looking at this down here. This is our Tuesday sessions, okay? So you can see the, um, the daily open, the London session, and the USA session. We were looking up towards these highs of the single prints, and we were looking down towards these single prints that did get made as you had that move up, okay? So you have your, your big move up, and then what we have on Tuesday is uh, mainly the single prints. Um, again, but other trades that we were looking at. So first of all, <clears throat> we had initially, and we were trading this during the London session. Okay, we were looking at the resistance that we had around our 1.618. And that is off the fib that we did take our, um, our main low from here. So from our high to our low. This is the 1.618. This is where you were seeing initial resistance. So we got a couple of trades off of that. Great. But it wasn't a hugely significant level. That's a fib level. It didn't have much confluence with it. It was within an area. What we were mainly looking at was these single prints. Okay. So price had initially rejected off the bottom of them. You got a little pullback, gained acceptance. And at that point, you're looking through to fill the top. Okay. And also we knew 52K having been support and having tried to hold price up we knew that that was going to be resistance so what did price do okay it came up filled the single prints at 51,950 almost exactly so this wasn't 52k importantly this was 51,950 that was the level that we were looking at and then we were able to take a short position from this so that short position also happened to be the extra confluence that we did have here, was our negative FIB from this pool, okay, was our negative 618, okay? So again, Luxury has posted a video within this recently for the crew. This was one of our advent calendar um, posts, so he has done that recently. So if you do want to know more about your negative FIBs, then please do go and watch that video. But this was also your negative 618. What was it as well within this area? Our one-to-one -one from our low down here, okay, to our high, to our low, that gives you your one-to-one. -one. So we had confluence within that area, but what we're gonna mainly focus on, the actual short that was taken was the high of the single prints. Um, where price came back down into, whoa, lost it. Where price then came back down into, we were looking at this golden pocket region as acting as support um, afterwards, and we did get a little bounce off of that. 
And uh, okay, so we can just have a look once again on the Discord. And we can just quickly show if we can find, this is the area that we were looking at. Okay, so mini order block, single prints, one to one, 1 1.380. And then of course, as price came up, we could see here the weekly level, which it was as well. Okay, so I didn't just mention that a minute ago. The weekly level plus the high of the single prints, short position taken. Okay, so that was, as it was updated, that was the trade that we were looking at. So there we go, short position taken. What do you do? You come down, take these lows towards the end of the day, which funnily enough, happened to be just that point in which you did have that initial, again, we go down onto a slightly lower time frame here. You had that first rejection off of your lows of the single prints before getting acceptance and moving all the way up to the highs. You bounce around this level and then a rejection, of course, at where we were looking at our take profit level, our main take profit level throughout the day. Okay. So that would be Tuesday. Then we can keep this all on here. You're building up more data, okay? So you can see from starting with just a weekend range, you've got a new week to trade. <clears throat> You're building up more data. We then move on into Wednesday. So Wednesday, yesterday. Here is our session yesterday. So what we were looking at here, okay, and again, called out as a trade that I was taking. Okay, so where do we have that? Um, let's bring up the Discord once again, and let's just go on to here. Crew, I've taken a long good confluence in this area. Bigger golden pocket, range point of control, anchored VWAP from the low, daily le level, liquidity below 48,800. Okay, this was the point in which I'd taken the long position. I was looking at these possible confluences within that. Okay, so we have, <coughs> first of all, this is when we lost support. We have the liquidity below 48,800. So we have our liquidity here. We have once again, golden pocket region, confluence for that. And then that is between our now weekly low and our weekly high. So you can see the weekend's, the week's range defined so far. You have your golden pocket between your weekly low and your weekly high. Okay. And then of course, what we also had there was our anchored VWAP from the actual liquidation run that we did have before. Uh, and just additional confluence that we did have within that area that I haven't put on the chart. Whoops, let's just pull it over here and let's just take it back to here. We did also have our point of control within that region. So this is all of the confluence, a lot of confluence that we were looking at within the Wednesday. And this was basically big swing, long position. We go into the New York session and we had been in that trade. Okay. What we also had right down at the... Uh, lows there was pull back up our discord okay let's move to this one clean looking trident here so again playbook strategies within the crew uh, so we do have educational videos on this this was the lows that we were looking at you can see our anchored vwap you can see our golden pocket and you can see liquidity had been taken then we had our market structure change we were looking for a pullback back into our reference level before higher. And this was just before we started our, our New York trading session yesterday. Okay, so New York session opening at 2.30. What happened at 2.30? Okay, so we pull off the Discord. We take a look, zoom in a little bit on this chart. And let's take a look at 2.30 p.m. Okay, where are we? We're right here having already had the move, having already had this long position, and we were able to take this into not just one, but two take profits before taking another short position. So what did we have first of all? We had our first take profit level that we were looking at around our golden pocket region. <clears throat> so we hit a quick take profit around here. Then we managed to flip back this range. So we took some liquidity at the highs, and then we're able to hold this before taking it higher up into 
basically this this high of the day what we had almost immediately after that okay and this was by the time we had ended the session so again just quickly flip back onto discord we were taking the short from up here and then we were looking at this to come back down into that gray box that i had just shown doing this simple abcd correction um, and looking at our session vwap as the main support to have within that area okay so blah 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 here's our local idea okay and that's what happened afterwards okay so we did have that move down into this area and i don't have it on this chart but you also had your daily vwap session vwap there i mean i could just pull this on as a here okay so here's your daily vwap and that is where we did get that bounce from so the nice confluence with that straight away and now of course that leads us now on to um <laughs> on to thursday and funnily enough price coming back down to our reference level let's see how it gets along here we've bounced off of that weekly open important level and we are now holding just below it so we'll see we have now at this stage here's all the data very very messy chart but let's remove all of this from there because this was just as an example today our week so far we have taken care of all the inefficiencies that were above us there is a possibility we could come down now and take care of the inefficiencies below us now i'm in a short position i am also still having taken profit from that happy to hold the long that i do have from these lows and just day trading again the information that we have in front of us so right now <clears throat> where we're at is our range lows but i am looking for slightly lower on this price and just to be aware that like i say we have taken care of these inefficiencies and this could be what we're going to see next so i'm not going to go over any any of the trades that i'm currently looking at in this video because we are 17 minutes into it um but maybe i'll do another update later today possibly a live stream and we do have the asia session of course uh that we are trading tonight for the crew Okay, so I think that just about wraps up this video. Um, is there anything else that we were looking at? We can take a quick look at... Uh, no, I don't think there is anything else to look at. Okay, so we could see here on Twitter again. Um, when we were taking this long, I did update it on Twitter. And uh, then we did get our nice move up out of that. But yeah, that's pretty much concluding this video uh, for today. So I hope you did enjoy it. I hope that was helpful. I know it's a bit of a different style again, going over some of the trades that we've taken this week. But I really hope that this was informative and educational just to show you that all you need to do is to trade what the chart is telling you at that very moment and um, not be too afraid of, of course, what price is going to do next okay so thank you very much for watching again please do like please do subscribe um and if you would like to know more about the community then the discord is on the website of course so you can go onto the website torascrypto.com you can see our free discord community that's also linked in the description below and you can find out more about the taurus crew membership here if you do click on any of the links within the website um so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. And those of you in the crew, um, let's have another great day of trading because that's what we've been doing recently and let's continue that. So thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.